It feels so weird to be saying this because previously the stuff packs were like the worst thing The Sims was making. Those earliest stuff packs were like genuinely bad and lacking in content, but now the more recent stuff packs are some of my favorite packs The Sims has ever made. Like the Paranormal stuff pack, the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack, these are both really solid packs with a ton of content in them. Maybe I shouldn't even say this out loud in case they hear it, but like the stuff packs kind of feel like you're getting a good deal, especially compared to the cost of the kits now because you pay five dollars for like a tiny little pack of clothing but these recent stuff packs have a brand new career they've got a ton of gameplay items there's furniture and there's clothing so it's like more than the size of three kits for the price of Two? So somehow the tables have turned and I'm actually a really big fan of stuff packs right now. And we're getting a trailer for a brand new stuff pack today. So of course we're gonna watch that trailer and react to it together. I've got the premiere open right now and this is meant to start like literally any second. So I'm getting really excited. We don't know that much about this yet. The teaser says, ooh, oh my God. Okay, it's happening. The teaser says, ooh, look how sparkly. And then there was that picture of the little rock right there. So based on the very brief teasers we've seen so far, we know that it's somehow like gemstone related and it's probably gonna use the base game rock collectibles. We've all been kind of theorizing a bit and we're thinking either jewelry making or maybe like that gem cutting machine from The Sims 3 Supernatural. I would be perfectly content with either of those because I was obsessed with that gem cutter in Supernatural. Supernatural, but arguably a jewelry making thing probably makes more sense and would be like more widely appealing. But that's kind of all we know. We don't have a ton of info about this. We're gonna get the info right now. It is so weird how we went from no stuff packs for years to all of a sudden two like this close together, but I am not complaining. I really liked Home Chef Hustle. So the bar for this one is kind of high. Home Chef Hustle had a ton of new items. It had new recipes. The clothes and the furniture are kind of cool. It had a whole brand new perfect kitchen kitchen set. So I'm just, uh, my expectations are really, really up there with this one. Let's just say that. I always get kind of nervous before premieres come out for Sims packs. I don't know why I let myself get anxious about it, but I kind of do. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What is it going to be called? I just, I coming into this, I have like literally no idea what to expect. Oh, Okay, this is that secret lot in Oasis Springs. So interesting to try and make use of that a little bit more. Look at the hairs. Crystal creations. Oh, I like it. Okay. <gasps> the moon wallpaper. Stop. Oh, we're going to have to come back and watch this whole thing like three times. I am obsessed. I really. Oh, <gasps> oh, it is jewelry making. Oh, my God. Wait, so can you like fully customize the colors and stuff with this? Is there a new skill? <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh, I really love the idea of more jewelry in the game. And it's so fun to like actually have a use for the collectibles because right now they kind of just sit there. <gasps> Is that the one that you can grow? Like in The Sims 3? Is it gonna be worth like 40,000 some more? <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Oh, this is really cool. Wait, Sims gain creative skills faster from wearing that? She's growing a whole crystal tree? Oh my God. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Look at the crystal shoes. Oh, and proposing with a ring that you made. <laughs> Discover dreamy decor, dazzle in style. Design your sparkle. Oh, the furniture looks so pretty. Oh, <gasps> Grim? Cause a sensation? Can you impress Grim into not killing you? 29th of February, leap day. <laughs> Wait, go back, go back. Hold on. Oh, I'm actually really impressed with this. The stuff pack trailers are always very, very short. It's like there's a ton of stuff to take in in a very short amount of time. It looks like the live premiere chat is actually really excited about it. Well, that person said meh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but most of it seems to be a, a pretty positive initial reaction, which is kind of fun. I kind of want to watch this again. I expect that we'll get some sort of blog post in a minute, but I might watch it back so I can pause on things and like look at the new stuff. I'm seeing it looks like some new earrings and a new hair on this sim. This is kind of a cool hairstyle too, because it's like two colors. Probably the highlight of this pack is going to be the jewelry, obviously. I, I will say that initial gut concern <laughs> is that because a lot of it is going to be jewelry like as cast features, there's probably not going to be that much cast outside of the jewelry, but also the jewelry is going to be probably locked behind gameplay, like how nifty knitting is. So I hope that there's an easy access cheat to use the jewelry in cast without having to make it first, just if you want to. Because not everybody likes to play through gameplay. Like some people use The Sims as like a dress up simulator and they wanna just have access to everything without having to like play through and unlock careers and stuff. So it's always kind of sad to me when things are like permanently behind lockables, kind of like the Eco Lifestyle extra cast stuff. There's some like really cute clothing in Eco Lifestyle that is behind the career. So you wouldn't even know if you don't play it. I'm really intrigued by this outfit and I love the boots. We've got some kind of interesting tights, it looks like. I mean, we're seeing obviously tons of new earrings, bracelets, rings, and stuff. I really like this hairstyle too, with it being clipped back a little bit. I think that's really beautiful. I'm also really excited about them actually making use of this area. This is one of those things that you've maybe never seen before. If you go into the park in Oasis Springs, there's like a secret entrance kind of in the back left corner. You have to have level 10 handiness skill to access it. And then it's this secret lot. It's like a really cool crystal cave down there and a lot of people maybe have never seen it. I mean, there's not really a reason to go back there, so you've maybe just never even bothered. But now with this pack, I mean, there's more crystals back there. You can catch some cool collectibles back there. It works really well for this trailer. Like, it seems like the perfect opportunity to be using all of those things. Okay, furniture. First of all, this wallpaper, amazing. The number of times we've had to beg for, like, subtle patterns. <laughs> like, patterns are okay. Can they just not be, like, hot pink all the time? Because there was a phase of The Sims 4 where everything was like so vibrant. This is so pretty. This is like usable across many different types of homes. I'm sorry. Does that bookshelf have a ladder? Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. I was so distracted by it. I was staring at the moons. Look at this bookshelf. Oh, that is one of the best things we've ever gotten. I'm, ser I'm being so serious. This is a complete game changer. <laughs> obsessed with that. Okay, okay, okay. We also have, it looks like a little crystal poster. This plant is really cute. We've got a beautiful rug, which I love. I, I can't really tell what this is. Is that like a modular coffee table? Do you understand what I'm saying when I point that out? How it's like a really long coffee table, but it's got end pieces and like lines in between. Do you think it's modular? Kind of like how the sectionals are from Dream Home Decorator. That's what this looks like to me, but maybe it's something else and I just don't, I can't really see it that well. I'm seeing it looks like a couple of different wall caps cabinets too, which is nice. Helpful for this sort of thing, because you're probably going to have a lot of stuff that you want to store in here. Oh, this probably isn't modular. With how they've placed this item, uh, I feel like the slotting wouldn't be halfway in between the two modules. It must just be a long table then. This is a cute like rolling cart side table as well. Okay, this, this table, that looks so good. <laughs> Go back, go back. So I assume this is like the crafting table, the the new like skill building object for this jewelry making stuff. I love how there's a slot for a picture on there. We've got some kind of cute decor with like your tools. This could be really useful for a couple things. If you're trying to make like an art studio, you could probably use that in there. Maybe for like a fake garage, you could put like tools on the wall. I'm always trying to think of ways to use these items that are, you know, multifunctional. <laughs> I love this like wooden swivel chair. I'm also really liking this cute, like really fancy shelf. That'll be cool for some really fancy houses. We've got some extra like additional clutter for the skill building stuff too. I love when we get more crafts, like more craft room type clutter. All the things from Nifty Knitting are so good for that. And now we've got a couple extra ones. This is that same table. Maybe it's like a long workbench or just a long bench in general and not really like a coffee table. This, ooh, that is like a nice long and wide console table. This is going to be great for TVs. <laughs> These look like sort of modular glass cases. So I assume you can store, go back. They're really moving fast, aren't they? <laughs> Through this trailer. I assume that you could store collectibles in there. I love these jewelry display boxes. Those are going to be so good for like dressers and stuff in your bedrooms. This little crystal terrarium almost is beautiful. You can kind of see this beautiful cabinet behind my face cam too. Okay. So this is how it actually works when you want to make jewelry. So we have a gemology skill. I fully didn't 
even see that when I first watched this. <laughs> it happened too fast. So you can pick a design, a metal, and a crystal all separately, and you can charge it on the crystal grid. So that's what that moonlight thing was. So here's a few of the designs. It looks like you can pick between necklaces, rings, bracelets, and earrings all separately. So there's probably a ton of options. And then you have to use the metals and the crystals. So there's actually, for once, a use for all of these collectibles. <laughs> this is so good. I'm, I'm so relieved. I feel like they haven't really bothered with those base game collections in years. They haven't done anything with them in so long, so it's kind of fun to actually have a reason to go digging around for them. We can see up close some more of the jewelry this way too when they're kind of like hanging over this, working on it. This looks so cool. The number of times we've been like begging for hobbies. I've made whole videos being like, hey Sims team, you should make a hobby pack. <laughs> this is exactly what I was talking about. Like exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, so we can see some more of the crystals displayed in these cabinets now. That's fun. I'm the kind of person that really likes to make display rooms and display cabinets for my Sims builds. I love collections. I, I play a lot of legacy challenges. And so in my legacy challenges, I usually have like years worth of collectibles I've been building up. So I love the idea of more fancy ways to display those collectibles. And not just for like the gems, but for all of them, like the Simi capsules, you know, all, all of that stuff will look so cool in here. You can put frogs in there probably if you wanted to. Okay, this, this is interesting. The way she's growing the plant. So I kind of, oh, that's different. Who are you? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay, well, anyway, I was gonna say the way that she's growing that plant reminds me a lot of The Sims 3 because there was this gem called Tiberium that you could find in The Sims 3. And if you just left it outside, it would grow after a few days and it would go from being worth like 6,000 simoleons to being worth like 42,000 simoleons. So every time I played The Sims 3, I would get a dog. I'd teach the dog how to hunt for gems. It would find me the Tiberium. I'd cut it in my little gem cutter and then I would become rich. <laughs> every single time, all of my Sims houses in The Sims 3 Three were built off that Tiberium. So the idea of her growing some sort of gem is really exciting to me because it kind of like has that energy. <laughs> it's like channeling The Sims 3. This, it sounds like, is also channeling energy, but it's like charging, I guess? I, I mean, it seems like you leave it outside and then it charges from the moonlight somehow. I'm curious to read more about how that works. I guess the charging is probably how you get those skill boosts because this one says Sims gain creative skills faster if charged on the crystal grid. So I kind of like the, I don't know, extra gain gameplay edition of that. But then we also have this crystal tree outside slowly being grown. Love the couch, by the way. That's cute. I'm not seeing too much furniture. It looks like there's a lot of clutter and not a ton of furniture. Do you see this? That's also a cut gem. Do you think you can cut the gems? Is it both? <laughs> Is it jewelry making and gem cutting? Look at some of these jewelry pieces, by the way. There's some really fancy stuff. We've needed more jewelry for so long. Oh, this enchanted one, sorry, enchanted. It's like I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> Sims will randomly find crystals around the house. That's beautiful, that ring. These crystal shoes too, come on, come on. Oh, I think it's just growing like random gems. Look, there's different colors in the tree. And there's a little crystal gnome down there too. <laughs> I love, th I love this. Okay, we can see some more of the furniture. It looks like we've got a lot of really interesting clutter. Look, 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 look. These are the cut gems. They must be the ones that you leave outside to charge. I like the plum bob one. I love the heart one. Those are cool. A lot of the clothing is kind of reminding me of Realm of Magic and I'm seeing a handful of new hairstyles. I love this Sims look with the necklace and this dress. That is beautiful. There's just so much jewelry. I'm like really excited about this. Most of the furniture itself is pretty, but they're not really showing a ton of furnishings. Oh, new coffee table. That's one new thing. Okay, there you go. <laughs> There's a handful of stuff. I don't know what Grimm's doing. I hope that you can like bribe him with gems. I like the vibes of that. Okay, let's go see. Oh, the link doesn't work. I want to try and read their blog post. Usually it takes them a bit for the blog post to actually work though. <laughs> so we may have to wait a little bit longer. You know what is so silly though? It comes out on February 29th. I'm going to New York on February 29th. I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get early access so I'll still have videos for you and stuff. I can like pre-record them, but it's just, it's so funny at this point. It's, I keep making this joke. Like every time I'm busy, something happens with The Sims. I don't go anywhere. I don't, <laughs> I, I stay at my house. I literally haven't left the house in weeks. Granted I had COVID last week, so that was part of it. But like, I don't go anywhere. The one time I, I've got, I made this plan like six months ago. That's when the pack comes out. So if you ever have any other questions about when a pack's gonna come out, we want to make some predictions. Just ask me. I'll tell you when I'm busy. We can bet it'll be then. There's some conventions this summer in June. I'm just saying. I'm fully expecting an expansion pack because that happened last year with Horse Ranch. <laughs> but 
I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I am devastated. I want this blog post so badly. <laughs> this is the problem with like watching the trailer right when it comes out. Nothing is ready yet. Like nothing has actually happened yet. You know what? While we wait, they did actually post a laundry list a few days ago. The laundry lists are like their list of the updates that they're working on fixing, the biggest bugs they're trying to fix for the next update, which I guess we can assume will be the 27th. If the pack comes out on the 29th, it's always on a Thursday. There's always an update on the Tuesday before the pack. So there'll be some bug fixes in that update. Not to say that all of these bugs will be fixed, but these are their high priority bugs. So that includes holidays only appearing for three Sims in a household. Finally, <laughs> uh, things like customer service NPCs not spawning, getting stuck on residential rental lot types, Sims eating prepped ingredients by accident as leftovers, the waffle maker and pizza oven causing constant fires, Sims getting stuck cooking and eating, which has been happening since Horse Ranch came out, by the way, that hoodie from the most recent kit making your Sims eyes giant. <laughs> so just a few of those things are kind of high priority for them. Oh, wait, there's a description. Hold on. <laughs> It's time to try out a shiny new skill, gemology. Pursuing this passion will have your sims collecting materials and customizing jewelry to wear, gift, or sell. Besides looking radiant, these pieces can be charged in the moonlight to bestow a variety of effects on their wearers. Want to help your sims succeed? Charge up some earrings with the simonite crystal to kickstart their career progression. There are 11 different jewelry cuts and 27 possible effects. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting like gameplay effects from this. I thought the gameplay would just be like, you can make it. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be like, I don't know, moodlets and buffs affecting your skill gain from it. And it sounds like they crafted the jewelry in collaboration with a simmer named Aretha B. I'm gonna link all of Aretha's social media down below, but you might know about Aretha already. I think this is so cool. <laughs> Anytime they collab with people, it's such a hit. It's such a win. I really, really deeply trust simmers, and I mean that. Especially creators like this that already make these things, you know? Like, I just, I so value your opinion. And you know what else? I was so distracted by just like, the beauty of it all that I didn't even think about making money from this. I'm the rags to riches girl and I wasn't even thinking about selling the jewelry. I was like, I can't wait to wear this jewelry. I didn't even consider trying to make money off of it, but it probably will make good money because it's jewelry. Like it's probably worth a lot, especially when you enchant it and stuff. I'm sorry, charge it. I'm gonna have fun with this. It's reminded me of my childhood. It fits everything I want right now. I've been begging for crafts. I've been begging for jewelry. <laughs> this feels like the perfect combo. The style of the build stuff is so pretty. Like I I really, really feel good about this. I can't read the article about it though. It won't show up. I'm like refreshing Twitter, trying to see if anybody has posted about it. And Molly says, come on Sims blog post, you can do it. That is how I feel right now. I'm opening the game real quick. Cause I want to look through the collections and just see what the vibes are. Why is it beeping at me? I hate that. I hate how when you have appliances, it beeps when you load in. Sorry. I forgot that when you don't have it, you can't see it. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can get all of them. I like opened the menu hoping that I would find it. A fun little pro tip is that if you're ever looking for an item like this and you don't want to dig through debug, people often post rooms on the gallery with collections in them. You might find a room on the gallery that's got like tomato plants. You might find a room on the gallery that's got, I don't know, crystals, <laughs> a cow plant, stuff like that. So if you want like a full grown cow plant real quick, just to eat somebody, you can always get one off the gallery. Just search for a cow plant room and you'll find it. Annoyingly, I don't have get to work installed right now because I was doing a limited pack build and there are some extras in get to work, but I'm still curious to see all of these. Collection complete. Wow. I worked really hard on that. <laughs> but basically it sounds like the game is going to be using all of these to try and create stuff with. Funnily enough, I also saw somewhere in the trailer there was a moonstone, which we do not have. There is no moonstone in The Sims 4, at least not right now. Hold on, go back. Let me try and see it. Yeah, look at that. It's brief, <laughs> but that moonstone must be new, I think, because it's not here. Am I wrong with that? I don't think so. I mean, look at the metals really quickly too, because the metal collection is much less interesting to me. I'm more curious about the crystals than the metals always. The metals are just kind of like, they're just kind of boring vibes. You know, the crystals are pretty. These are boring, so I never ever use them. Although these little metals actually look kind of cute when you put them on a shelf and stuff. So there's that. There's 20 metals in the collection as well. This is gonna be fun to actually have a reason to do all this again. And also a lot of these items are gonna work so well for like witchy type spellcaster builds. They'll work well for alien stuff with that cool like crystal tree. I did see a lot of people online and I'm sorry for laughing, <laughs> but I saw a lot of people online being like, I hope it's fairies when they teased the, the trailer yesterday. It was just that like picture of a rock and they were like, I hope it's fairies. And I had the complete opposite reaction to that. I was like, it better not be fairies. I do not want a stuff pack 
pack that is fairies. If we're gonna get fairies, it has to be a game pack. It has to be like a full game pack, like werewolves and vampires and stuff are. They would suck if they were in just a stuff pack. Like they wouldn't have the full set of skill tree and all of that. So I would have hated this pack if this were fairies. <laughs> but the fun part about this is that I think it stands up pretty well on its own as a concept, but it also ties in well to some of the other things that we have already, which is the exact perfect scenario for a pack. One slight concern I have is that the jewelry is, um, <laughs> it feels very low quality. I'm curious to see how it ends up looking in Cass, but, but this is like not stunning me, you know? The rest of it is, but the jewelry itself the the visual of this is not stunning. <laughs> it's um it's kind of like the food in that way where it just looks kind of blurry. <laughs> um so I'm hoping that it looks better when it's actually on the Sims, but I'm not stunned by this. I'm not surprised, but I'm not stunned. I'm not surprised by this either. I still can't load it. <laughs> I want to read the blog post. Oh, hold on. I can see it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> they have the wrong link. The link is incorrect in the description box, but that's fine. We've got it. We've got the real one. Craft your crystal jewelry with the Sims 4 Crystal Creations Stuff Pack. Design dazzling jewelry that puts you at the center of crafting and creation. I always like these blog posts because they give some more info and like kind of explain stuff that they showed us. I will link this down below in case you want to read it for yourselves along with the trailer and everything, but I'm going to point out all the important things to you. So it sounds like these creations can affect your mood, relationship, careers, and lives. So your moods, your relationships, your careers, and your skills, I assume. You can display beautifully cut crystals around the house, so it is like my gem cutter from The Sims 3. Or you could use them to craft stunning pieces of jewelry. You can charge the crystals. We knew all of that. You can make handcrafted engagement rings. This is like my dream. I love the idea of that. I think that is so cool, the thought of making a ring for someone to propose with. With crystal creations, a sim can create over 1,000 different permutations of bejeweled items. So like between all of the combinations, a thousand different things total. I mean, I assume that includes the different like 21 something charges you could do, but that's pretty cool. Oh, interesting. So you can pick silver gold or rose gold, or you can use any of the 22 metals found within the Sims 4 worlds. And there's 10 different cuts for the gemstones, including heart, plump up, or gnome shapes. <laughs> the gnome is a cut of the gemstone. It's huge. Can you make like a solid diamond gnome to put in your yard? <laughs> and interestingly, it also uses the base game lunar cycle. So we finally got another reason to have it. So you can search out crystals on your computer or get them off a crystal tree. And once the crystal is cut, it can be charged. Oh, and depending on the crystal, the effects of the charge might wane over time and you might need to recharge it. Makes sense. And there are three new crystals, amber, jade, and moonstone all three new crystals. So in total, there's 27 across all of the packs now. Okay, I feel really good about this actually. I was, I did before, but now I'm just getting really excited. This feels very different for The Sims 4. It's not really something that I would have like had on my bingo card for a pack release, but I think this is like the exact kind of thing that people will like. And it kind of ticks a lot of the boxes of stuff that I felt like The Sims was lacking. It's making use of stuff that feels like it's kind of just there. It's adding more jewelry. It's adding more crafts. Like it feels like it's got a lot of potential so I'm pretty excited. Obviously, I'm gonna post some reviews and stuff when the pack actually comes out next week, so make sure you are subscribed here to my YouTube channel so you don't miss those things. And I'm curious to know in the comments what you're thinking about this. How are you feeling? Are you excited like I am, or are you not really feeling this one? It's always kind of hard to tell just from the trailer because you haven't actually seen everything. You get these like little tiny glimpses of stuff, and it's not enough to make a full opinion yet, but how are you feeling right now? What are your initial thoughts? Let me know. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. So thank you so much for watching and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. I put on a green sweater and made my lights green in honor of the stuff pack, by the way, like in honor of the green logo for the stuff pack. I was trying to channel it.